Hello everybody, we are back here in the snowy biome and today we are getting started with some big projects because today I don't want to have any of this to worry about. I've been doing a bunch of stuff, let me grab these out like this. Let me show you, I've, I've been placing a bunch of dirt uh, across yesterday and today. Busy doing a lot of work here, you can see from there, all of this over here. Still got a little bit actually to do over there, but that's not too big of a deal. Uh, we've still got to do the backs of these mounds, that's not going to happen today. We want this area by the end of today, to be at least, I would say, let me, let me have a look here. Let me tell you how much I want to be done here. I want from that area there to this area here to be done, which means that practically all around this snowy village, it is going to be done. It might need a few little touch-ups here and there. Maybe we won't finish every single thing, but it's going to be very, very close to being finished. I'll tell you that. So what I'm going to do now is something we haven't done in a while, and I've, I've got many people asking for me for it. A bit of a time lapse. So how about we begin? Uh, first of all, actually, what before I well, what am I what am I doing? Already starting off there. Before I actually do begin that, let me just quickly stop by and show you what I've got. So materials I've gathered up. A full shocker box of them. Full shocker box of them. Most of a shocker box of these. It'll be alright. I can't leave that like that. And just the old shocker box. So that's what we've got here. That's what I'm gonna be using to work with. Once we run out of one of these, I'm going to call it a day, because really, I could just keep going. <laughs> I could just keep going. So, as I said, how about we get on to that time lapse? And of course, guys, we absolutely love the replay mod here. And look at that. Beautiful. Even though it's just a bit of water coming off the sides. Uh, what I'm doing, I'll quickly give it a little bit of a rundown here. So I'm going to be starting on this mountain. I'm going to be finishing up this mountain all the way to the left of it as well. You can see I just cleared out all the snow so I could place some bone meal. And now I'm just going around bone meal in the place and getting rid of all the flowers. Now, those of you guys who don't know about the whole terraforming thing and me, I absolutely love my terraforming. You guys, if you don't know it, you know it now. If you didn't know it, you're about to definitely know it. And what I'm doing today is I'm just messing around with a bit of shaders, a bit of replay mod. Link will be in the description for the replay mod. I know you guys might want to check that out. So definitely look down in the description right now if you guys want to play around with it. It's a really, really cool mod. It doesn't change the game. So anyone who's worried about me playing with mods, it's not playing with mods. It yeah, kind of is, but not what you think. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just creating a few trees, creating a few, uh, I don't know, a bit of, you'll, you'll see at the end here, I get a bit of terrain stuff going on with the blocks on the, the ground and stuff, but that's something we're going to actually touch on a bit later. Uh, but pretty much what I was just trying to do was create a forest here that's uh, got the, the type of tree that I'm going for, which is this spruce tree. And I'm not too sure what the actual tree in real, like in real life would be. But it's one that's got these droopy sort of leaves. And sadly, this current image is not giving you a very good look of it. Look at it, sorry. But uh, I'll, I'll be able to show you guys from the bottom. And that's really what counts, down from below. Because that's where we're going to be walking through. We're going to be looking at this forest. And I think that's going to really, really look very well. And also, another thing. You'll notice how the trees further away, so the ones up the mountain, are actually significantly smaller than the ones in the foreground over here, right in front of us. And the reason for that is it gives us this perception of the mountain being a lot bigger from the bottom. So currently it might look a little bit silly, but when you get down below, those trees just give this idea that the mountain is so much further and higher. And here you can see what I mean by that, where the trees much further back are significantly smaller. These ones in the front are significantly bigger, and it just looks like they're much further back than what they are. That looks like, if I had to say just from walking here, that would feel like it would be... Quite a lot further, probably like 60 blocks back, but really it's probably only 20 or so. So it's just to give you that perspective and it kind of messes with you a little bit, but that's what we want. We want to be messing with ourselves just a little bit to have a look at that. Now this over here is starting to look really, really good. I'm very excited for how it's turning out, but there's one issue with it and that is going to be the snow falling. So hopefully we might, we might have to do a little bit of work on that. I don't know if we will, but uh, if we do... Uh, it'll probably be something along those lines there, or maybe some lighting things. We don't, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I was hoping to also get this area here done. However, as I said, we don't want to lose, well, we were going to go until we got rid of everything there, so we don't want to just keep going, else I'm just going to keep going, uh, for days on this. In fact, this took me a few hours to get done, surprisingly, considering that was condensed into, I think, two minutes. Uh, it, it does take a lot longer than it looks, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I enjoy just doing... A little bit of something different every now and then, and of course a time lapse every now and then is, is not a bad thing. I mean, I could imagine that would get very, very boring if we did it every single time. So, of course, that's, that's why I want to 
want to use them sparingly. Yeah, look at that. Coming over here. Picture these coming over here this way as well. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm also going to try go for this sort of a ground here, which is what we're going to get up to now. Getting some, comp like, uh, coarse dirt. A bit of podzol, which I've actually got over there. I just don't have enough. And I'm just going to spread that around the ground. Get some rocks done. I was actually hoping to do the rocks in, a, in the uh, time lapse. But the issue with doing the rocks in the time lapse was that I didn't have the rocks on me. I didn't have my shovel boxes with the rocks in them. And that meant that I would have had to go off the screen to get them. And the problem with going off the screen, well, like, far away from where I was there, uh, is it unloads that area and it just becomes a little bit weird. So I'd rather just do everything with me standing in one area. Just a bit of experience with the replay mod. When I do big projects like that, there's always something a little bit weird. And here we go. Perfect. Grab these. These, these are my stone ones here so we can get up to some rocks and stuff like that, which is very important. And of course, as I say, the podzol and stuff was a similar issue where I didn't have any near me, so I would have had to go away. And there's even another one. The reason I was using bone blocks to fill her up was that I don't have my ender pearls on me, and I've actually got to quickly find them before we keep going with that. I've been fairly hard at work here, just adding in a few rocks and stuff like that. And slowly but surely, getting this biome to look a little bit more uh, different from this biome over here. And the idea is, and I've spoken about this before, this side here of the valley, because this is a big valley, going all the way from there down to there, uh, this side here is going to be a very snowy side, and it's going to be separated, and we're going to have a bit more of a tiger feel to this one. Not exactly like a mega tiger or a tiger biome. It's our own interpretation of it, and I think it's going to look a lot better than those, might I add. But uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make two separate, very distinct, uh, one side kind of going a bit less out of snow, this side in snow, and eventually it's actually going to creep up to have no snow in it, which is going to be a really cool transition from the air. If you're flying across, you should be able to see it. Is the sun? The sun's about to go down. So what I've done is I've gone ahead, got a bunch of cob of uh, coarse dirt, a bunch of podzol, and I've also put in this rock here, for instance, these rocks here, and a lot of other rocks around the place. And what I've been trying to do is just get this ground textured correctly. And that over there, actually this area, is the area I'm about to work on. It's the big, undirted area, I guess. And it's going to just be a little bit of a cliff face, almost, where I'm just going to add a bit of texture of the rocks and stuff, make it look a little bit more interesting than what it is. And on the top of here, I'm still undecided, but I think I probably won't put any trees or anything up there. I think I like it a little bit bare. And uh, that's, that's actually why I've left it there. So what I've also got to show you guys, which is a question I get asked relatively reason like reasonably often, uh, and why is it that I find a an efficiency three shovel? You see this efficiency three, silk touch and uh, unbreaking three and mending. The efficiency three is the important one. Why is that my favorite pick? And I've explained it before, and I think that's probably why people may just not understand what why what I meant about it. Uh, but this is why I love an efficiency 3 versus an efficiency 4 or even a 5 is ridiculous. I don't know why you'd need a 5 pick. So, look at this. Say, for instance, while I'm busy making these areas pretty, I want to get rid of this block. I can break that block while still having my cursor on that block. So, look at this. I don't break the block behind it. You see that? Very easy to do that like those. And that can stay the way it is. But, if I've got an efficiency 4, and I think this one here is efficiency 4, and I want to break this block over here, like... This one here without breaking that one. See that? I just click and it goes all the way through them. And that is why I prefer an efficiency 3. Because for me to do finer details like this, for instance, um, well that one there, that was dirt. So that actually allowed me to do it. Um, but it allows me to break grass blocks with a little bit more, a little bit less effort. And, well, a little bit more effort, sorry. So that means I don't have to keep breaking them. But if I want to break dirt or break uh, podzol, for instance, and collect them, that goes very quickly. So the only thing that I would suggest having efficiency for is collecting these. Besides that, I would never really use an efficiency four pick anywhere else. I don't think I can't. I can't think of any other reason besides collecting stuff. That was a, that was an accident. That's that was a pity. And that's actually another thing I wish we didn't have in this game is when we do this uh, this offhand thing with uh, right clicking with the shovel. And I've just got rid of that. Really? There we go. With the shovel, I wish if you were shifting or something, or if you had something in your offhand, it wouldn't just place it on top of dirt path blocks. That would be really, really nice. <laughs> I can't, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has that happen to him. But every single time I'm trying to place things around, I always mistakenly bump something, destroy my grout, like that, speaking of the devil. 
and then I end up having to restart again like this. It's just really, really annoying. I wish, I wish if you had something in your hand, it just wouldn't be a thing. Or something, something a bit more harder to break. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'll probably will do, carry on with this up until about here. This area here, I'm going to just leave and do over time. It, it should, it should be a lot more fun than the basic terrain building and stuff like that. Adding trees is always fun. So I'm going to go ahead. I've also, by the way, put some logs in. I'll carry on all the way that way. And then we're going to go on to the next area. The, the next, I'm about to speak yet. We're going to go on to the next thing. Here's the other project that we're going to get up to. This, if you remember from the last episode, you guys haven't seen it. This is the first puzzle room. And I've gone and done a little bit of cave shaping here. Just a tad, just a little bit of stuff. And today we're not going to be doing any redstone. Maybe one thing I've actually got. One little thing, but you, don't worry. I'll, show, I'll just show you what it does. I'm not going to actually do it on camera. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to be change this area to make it look all pretty. It's already actually looking very good. I'm, I'm thinking that it's looking very good with these shapes kind of collapsing in here, pulling over there, a bit of rubble at the bottom on each side here. I think it's going to work really, really good. The only redstone thing I want to do is when I push these buttons, I want them to make a little bit of a noise, and that's very, very easy to do. But let's get started on some of the stuff here. So first of all, coming in from the outside here, and it's actually, I would have, would have loved it to be nighttime just to see the light going through here. There's just a little bit of light coming from here and you can see, well, you can't actually see, which is the point, uh, that the, this has got the light coming from behind these leaves, but you can't see the light source. Same as here. You can't see the light source, but there is light coming through there. And I want to use this throughout this cave. So as we go down here this way a bit further, let me just double check, spawned. Uh, as we go in here, we might have a little bit of light coming from there. I was actually debating on whether or not we should have a little skylight over there with some light dropping down. That would look really, really cool. But what I want to do now is I want to just test something out, and that is using the end stone brick. You can see it in my, my offhand here. And because we're working with such low light levels, uh, this is my whole reasoning behind using a bit of diorite, actually, in, in a lot of builds. Because diorite isn't, isn't exactly the best thing to use in every single situation. Where's that going? Okay, good, good. Uh, but it does have a, a place when, when you use it. Like, this end stone brick, if only it didn't have this little green. Like, can you see there's a slight green feeling to this? Same as end stone. It's, it's not a lot, but it just, it's, it's off yellow. It's off yellow. It's, it's not a nice color to use in a lot of builds. But let's hope this works. I think it's gonna. Yeah, you see that? Because of the light level... It's actually letting it work very, very nicely there. It gives it a nice sort of look to it. I like that a lot. As long as we play with these dull colors, I think this could work really, really well. Uh, maybe, uh, actually, let me just check what this looks like without being bumped back. That's way too bright. I forgot that this is also ridiculously easy to break. So if we can put that in the walls like that, I think that could work. Maybe a little bit of a pattern like that. You want it there. And one around there, sort of similar to what we did with those. In fact, I might even change that over. Yeah, that's gonna look really, really cool. And of course, we just have to add a bit of shape to it. I'm gonna try it on this quickly. And I think things like this that I, I don't always think about are, oh man, every time. And I don't have my sword on me, do I? Every, I swear last time, didn't, didn't last episode I have a creeper over there? I could have sworn I had a creeper behind here. Let me just quickly scout. Yeah, we good, perfect. So yeah, what I was saying is I just want this whole area here to be uh, tested out with this. I, I kind of like this cyan color, but I'm, I'm down to change it a little bit as well. I wasn't 100% wasn't sold on it. Give me that back. Thank you. And here, 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 here. Yeah, today's been quite a, quite a buildy episode, by the way. I, um, I've been in my building, been in my, t not really terraforming mode, but I guess sort of terraforming mode. I just, I've, I've been trying to get a lot of, the bigger projects out today, so it's taken a bit of time. That actually looks like a spider in some weird way, like the arms coming off each side, the legs, sorry. Two eyes, even though it should really have more than that, and a little mouth. But kind of like a Minecraft spider, almost. The shape-wise. And like, the body over there. I think I actually like that. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie, I think that actually could work very, very well. So, I might, I might get that in on this wall as well here. There you are, and now it's time to get a little bit of a little bit of life into this place, as if it's been overgrown, that there's all these vines and stuff coming down from it. And what I want to do as well is show you guys my my little trick to hiding light in and getting the right light levels in these places, which a lot of you will know of. I, I've used this quite a few times, and I don't actually see it getting used like ever. 
So I think it's a very, very, very uh, underused thing. But pretty much what you do is you just hide the light source behind a, a thing like that. Or if you've got enough, enough of these, eventually it should just hide itself. And you just block it in. So you see this? Just block in over there all the way to the end. And now it's just a random bit of light coming from nowhere. You wouldn't be able to tell that there's a light source there. You wouldn't even know that it goes back there. Look at that. Just like that. Stuff like this. The little things like this, I think, really make a big difference when it comes to the end of it. Oh, did I just jump in my big pile of trash? There. I, I, I made a pile of trash. There was just so much stuff that, that I had in my inventory. And uh, now I've just fell in it. Okay, let me get rid of that. And that. And that one there. Yeah, that's looking really, really good. I like that a lot. I think we can maybe do a few more just around these places. By the way, for these, I'm actually kind of liking them like this. So I'm only going to do a few small things like this. I was planning on doing a bit more of an elaborate design. But a few things like that. Maybe one or two of these. Like this over here. There, there, and there. Maybe one on this side and one of the... No. Please give that back. There we go. And one of those there. Look at that. Just on the sides of the walls. Look kind of cool. I think they look kind of cool. I'm really loving how this looks red. Like, it looks like it's a, an, an area that's been falling apart, and it, it just gives me that, that feeling. I'm really, really loving it. So now, of course, it is time to just go ahead and add these things in here. And I've got one other task that I want to get completed today. Out of the redstone area. Perfect. So we're going to test out my new little thing that I've done. Okay, if zombies have spawned, creepers could have spawned. I think we're all right. Oh, what's going on there? Left a the block out. It's not a problem. And there we go. Die. Thank you, zombie. Go to the pile of trash, which is still sitting there. I keep picking it up and I keep dropping it back in there again. So what I've done is I've hooked up a bit of sound to this place. And let me get rid of these just to, to give you guys the feel. It's a bit dark, I know. And also I've destroyed the one block that I can't actually destroy. Hmm. Nailed it. All right. So what I've done is I've hooked up the sa some sounds to these. So let me push this button. Can you hear that little, like, dinging noise? Let me just turn down. Is it blocks? Okay, that's making a really annoying noise. Um, I'll just turn everything down. Players. Friendly. Okay, good. That, that sounds good. Okay, we've just got the uh, jukebox slash note blocks going. So that makes a noise. Perfect. That kind of works. A little bit, like, of uh, the noise going all around the place. That sounds really cool. And you heard the bells go at the end. Let me let me just push this one again. So no noise there because they all switched off. Listen carefully. You can actually hear a different noise when the, the door opens. There you go. That, like, that little bell sound at the end. That is so, so cool. And then, of course, this cave is completed with all those there. Man, I'm really, really happy about this. Actually, you know, we could have a bit of trouble because there's a bit of lava in there and we've got these leaves here. Hopefully they don't burn. If not, that's not a big deal. But man, that's really, really awesome. I'm actually very, very pleased with this. Look at it. It's looking cool with these lightless flames. By that, I mean that the flames aren't giving off light. Man, I'm very, very happy. Uh, for today, guys, I think this will probably be the episode, though, because it's been a lot of work, been a lot of stuff that's happened, and I'm very happy with the stuff that's happened today. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And I was correct, was I not? No, apparently that's only a little bit. <laughs> But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.